If you find that this is shaking, you can't keep it straight, get a lighter kettlebell. Well, you should probably get a lighter one too, my brother. Well, at least... It, no. Leg out. No. And down. No. Matt. No! Oh, don't break. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestark here. We're all about kettlebells. So if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. Somebody sent me this article called 12 must do kettlebell exercises for hypertrophy, strength and function. And it's been fact checked. That's actually the first time I see that a fitness article with exercises has been fact checked. By who? Maybe we'll find out. What I love about it most is you can see my brother Luca right here demonstrating the kettlebell farmer's carry or farmer's walk. I love it. So that's great. So let's look at the form of these two very complex exercises that you have to understand because you want to save your lower back. Highly advanced. Watch this. It's the kettlebell windmill. It's really gonna test your shoulder stability, your core strength, and this is also gonna help stretch out your hamstrings too. So if you can work up to this exercise, it's fantastic. Yeah. So, kettlebell, straight overhead. Now there's one thing that I always see, I call it the death of a thousand cuts philosophy. On the weekend, we were instructed the second time handling firearms and shooting weapons, and it was awesome. When I was watching my instructor, I knew that he was following the death of a thousand cuts philosophy because he shot thousands of times. And you can see the way he handles the gun. Now, in my case, the way I handle it, you see, I'm missing those reps. I'm still learning. So in this case, I can see he probably never touched the kettlebell before. No disrespect. My man, my brother right here, if you're watching this, this is not intended to be disrespectful. It's intended to be educational. Now, Fitness Vault chose to do or asked maybe this coach or this instructor to do the windmill. And I can immediately see that he doesn't have a lot of experience handling it, grabbing it, and bringing it overhead. So you can see it looks like he lacks some upper body mobility a little bit. His elbow's not fully extended, the arm's not fully extended, and the way you brought it up is very, is questionable, even though it's lightweight. We always say, I got this similarity with the gun now. Treat the kettlebell like it's loaded. I don't care if it's a 12 kilo or 48 kilo, you gotta grab it safely and bring it up safely to save your lower back. It's a lot of hip dominant movements, which is awesome, but you have to be careful with your hips in order to save your lower back. What you're gonna do is have the leg that's opposite to that arm that's up. It's gonna be pointed out, this foot pointed straight. And all you're gonna do is keep this leg straight Oh no. No. You're just gonna try and touch. <laughs> no. You don't do this, my man. It's gonna be pretty difficult. If you find that this is shaking, you can't keep it straight, get a lighter kettlebell. Well, you should probably get a lighter one too, my brother. No. Don't, don't do this. This is dangerous, man. Oh There's no. Kettlebell windmills. Yeah, who fact, who fact checked this? Let me demonstrate what a windmill is supposed to look like. Make sure you stand in the triangle to bring the kettlebell into the top fixation safely. Once you get ready, breathe in through the nose and keep the air inside your body while contracting your abs. The first step is to engage in a side hinge, pushing the hips to the side. Here's the key. While you rotate your T-spine, you keep your lumbar spine locked. Your chest should point to the front and the kettlebell should rest approximately inside the center of mass. Bending your knees is preference. Make sure you return to the starting position strongly and safely. To improve your kinesthetic sense, put a stick on your upper back. This simulates the movement of your T-spine. The stick should align inside your leading leg if you engage in the windmill correctly. And here's a great segue into the Turkish get up. Because he misses important movements in the windmill, he also misses them in the get up. Turkish get up. So yep. what you're gonna need for this exercise is your kettlebell. You're gonna lay down flat on your back. Kettlebell extended up. No, and, and, and you don't first, this, oh man. Couple of things, man. Now, first of all, you make sure safety first, okay? Nothing's around you who's almost in a rack. That's dangerous. You, you never know. Make sure you have a lot of space around you. That's safety measures. The way he brings up the kettlebell can be detrimental to your shoulders, especially if it gets heavier. Remember this, treat the kettlebell like it's loaded or treat every weight the same. Imagine as if you were picking up a 48 kilogram, you're like, oof, yeah, you gotta be careful. Don't pick it up like this. Strength, so what you're gonna do is kettlebell up, you're gonna have your arm extended, the same arm is extended, same leg's gonna extend. Get up like that. 
Oh, he's so shaky, man. And what you're gonna do is get up on your hand, swing that foot back. See how like we, that? No, no, not like that. Get up into a lunge, and then you're just gonna stand up. Now, one thing that's very interesting to see is the lack of overhead mobility. That's what we see a lot with beginners when they bring the kettlebell overhead and then their head tilts up and their chest tilts up, right? Their sternum tilts up. This can be an indicator that your lats are too tight, your hips are too tight, or maybe your chest is too tight. And then it looks like this and not being able to fully extend your elbow. That's maybe some um, instability, not instability, some lack of mobility in the arms and the shoulder as well. So, yeah. Back down the same way you came oh, up. Oh, back down, my man. Down. Be careful. Like this. Well, at least. No. Leg out. No. And down. No. Matt. No! <laughs> don't bring. My man, you don't bring kettlebells down like this. Who fact checked this? Who fact checked this fitness folk? My guys. So let me demonstrate the Turkish get up for you quickly so you understand how to do it. Lay down next to your kettlebell that is at rest, making sure your surroundings are safe. Wrap the kettlebell in the embryo or fetal position. Arm and leading leg are placed in a slight scapular plane. Pack your shoulder and press the bell overhead. Eyes follow the bell. Bring your body weight via your leg to your elbow first, then finalize the sit up. Engage in a hip bridge to sweep your leading leg and hip sideways, engaging in the side hinge. Raise your upper body into the half kneeling position. Sweep Keep your leg behind to get ready for the overhead lunge. To finalize the exercise in a solid shoulder width stand. Engage in the reverse lunge to go down. Turn your front leg to engage in the half kneeling position. Draw a line with your open hand to the floor and put your hand down. Engage in a reverse sweep to bring your leg behind to the front. Drop the weight on your hips, then down on your elbows. Use your abs and your supporting leg to slowly bring your back down to the floor. Drop the kettlebell in the fetal position to rest. Exercise selection is great, but wow, turkey kettlebell up windmill, fitness vault, my guys. Next time, talk to a professional who can really help you. <laughs> 90 Days of Kettlebells is an online workout course for beginners who want to train at home, lose weight, and achieve lasting results without wasting time and money with crash diets and unused gym memberships. The program works as follows. You will do three kettlebell workouts per week that gradually increase in difficulty. You'll also build three powerful eating habits that have proven successful in our coaching. As the name implies, the program lasts 90 days and you will have lifelong access after purchase. We also include live accountability sessions where you will publicly state your goals. Psychology shows us that if we make our goals public, our adherence to the process and the program increases dramatically. If you have been struggling to put together an elaborate kettlebell workout system while trying to lose weight, then 90 days of kettlebells is for you. The price of 90 days of kettlebells is 59 US dollars per month for three months, and you can save 20% with a one-time payment of 147 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new clients. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.